Hi, this is Vignesh Hutekzi and this is a video explaining the Kyrene 650 processor in the Huawei 5C. The Kyrene 650 is a 16 nanometer FinFET process and this is why it is important. Getting to the measurement of nanometers, 10 million nanometers make up 1 centimeter. It is that small. Coming to a processor, it is made up of billions of circuits known as transistors. And this measurement is basically the distance between the transistor and other components in the processor. When the distance between the transistor and other components reduces, the size of the overall processor reduces and you can have more cores and this also saves up time and energy. The Kyren 650 is an octa-core processor in which 4 cores are clocked at 2 GHz and uh, the remaining 4 are clocked at 1.7 GHz. The first thing is that when the transistors are close to each other, the process of transistor switching happens a lot faster because there is very little lag between them. Also, since they are really close, the amount of energy used for the data to flow between the transistor is a lot lower than what it would take for your normal processors. The 16 nanometer processor is something that has been exclusive for the premium phones like the iPhone 6s Plus and the other Snapdragon 820 phones. This is the first time the 16 nanometer processor has been put in a 10K phone. Comparing this with the likes of Redmi Note 3 and the Loic Alert 2, the Redmi Note 3 runs on Snapdragon 650 and the Alert 2 runs on Snapdragon 652. Both these processors are uh, 28 nanometer processors. If not for the performance, at least the battery efficiency is very visible with the phone. Between the Kyren 620 which is a 28 nanometer processor and the Kyren 650 which is in this phone, Huawei claims that there is a performance increase of 70% and a graphical performance increase of 100%. Also, the power consumed is 70% less. Not just that, the Kyren 650 also has an i5 processor which is always on and is performing in the low power mode. This is always reading the data from multiple sensors like the accelerometer to read your steps. A processor also has other chipsets in the phone like the modem and the image sensing processor. The Kyren 650 also has a separate function to store your fingerprint data so that it cannot be accessed by other apps. End of the day, the size of the processor does not always mean it's going to perform better. It depends on other things like the design of the processor. But I, I'm pretty sure the Huawei 5C performs pretty well and the battery is really good on it. So they seem to have done a good job with the processor. Hit like if you liked the video. Also make sure you are subscribed so that you can watch our future videos.